To post a manual journal in Xero, what you do is you go to Accounting, uh, Advanced, and then you go to Manual Journals. Now bear in mind only advisors. Uh, if you have the user access of advisor, then you can post a manual journal. If you don't, then you can't. There's a number of options that you have. Now to just post a plain and simple journal, what you do is you enter the, the, the narration. So you can put rent accrual, for example. You enter the date, so end of April. You can select a reversing date. So in this situation, this is an accrual. So I want to it to be reversed the following uh, the following month, so the 1st of May. The default narration um, is also the line description. So let's click there. So this narration will go here automatically. Now show journal on cash basis report means that when you post this journal, uh, what this means is that it will also be uh, recognized on, on a cash basis as well. So when you're running your cash flow for uh, your cash flow uh, reports, it will also show the, the manual journals if you want it to be a cash journal as well. So you so you've entered your description. So here I put rent, for example, and accruals. Okay, so I don't have an accruals account, so I can create one now. So so the current liability crawls save so there's my crawls account here you'd enter your tracking if it's relevant for you so my debit's going to be let's say a thousand for argument's sake and my credit's a thousand now you can also attach any relevant files in this uh, manual journal you can add notes as well this doesn't this is not added to the actual journal, but it's added as a note to your uh, transaction. Um, you can save it as draft or you can post it. So if I select post, here you can see that my journal is posted. And here you can see the reverse on the 1st of May as well. Now let's say I was to avoid it, it will come here. So let's say I want to avoid the reversal. If I select avoid, it will then reverse it and it will show here. Now, if I wanted to create a repeating journal, I can do that as well. And examples of this would obviously be something like a prepayment. So let's say on the 1st of Feb, I want to repeat it every month. And I want it to end in say June. Uh, and I, you can select save as draft or post. So we'll select post for this, uh, for, for, for this uh, exercise. Now we'll call it uh, prepaid rent, for example. So what we're going to do is we're going to create enter the account codes. Um, so every month I'm going to post a thousand um, into my PL and put the credit entry in prepayments. If I select save. So here you can see that's a repeating journal. If I go to my posted journals, you can see that it's already posted my Feb, March and April journal. And once we get to the 1st of May, it will then automatically post the, the 1st of May journal as well. You can also import journals. So let's say you have a journal with a number of lines. If you download the template, um, you can then enter the information here and upload it to zero as well.